Math is super fun. Slope is rise over run. I be chilling in the sun. Yeah. Here we go. Week number 22. The late Kobe Bryant. Everything negative. He's saying pressure and challenges is all an opportunity for me to rise. Rest in peace, Kobe. Grid view to navigate all these slides and game plans. Week 22, January 25th to January 29th. We are now in 2.12. I should say a two here. And what are we doing? We are doing polynomial division. And in order to figure out polynomial division, students will be able to determine factors through evaluation. We have our agenda here, so let's get to it. I've just updated Aries with assignment 21.4, which was skills practice 2.11, and your um, last year's quiz. We'll talk about that in a second. Do you have late work just because you turn it in after the due date, or actually, when I grade it, so like if I graded that assignment last weekend, um, and let's just say I give you comments and you're like quickly like, oh shoot, Mr. Ring checked it and now you want to grade it? It's, no, um, that doesn't mean I grade it. You actually have to go through late work. How do you go through late work? Schoology, courses, math page, materials, welcome. And then there's a link called late work. Let me show it to you guys. So here is Schoology, click on welcome. And there is a link for late work. It's just Google Slides and it'll tell you what to do there. So again, just because you turn in an assignment doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna check it. After it's been graded, it's now considered late. Remember the big announcement for Khan Academy is that <clears throat> I did not wanna check at the end of January because it wasn't fair. I was only giving you like two and a half weeks to do a month's worth of work, 60 minutes. So instead of checking at the end of January, I'll be checking at the end of February, which you'll need a total of 120 minutes or 60 minutes per a month. That goes to about 15 minutes per a week. Last year, it was two hours a month, so I'm doing less in distance learning. Remembering your participation, if I ever call on you, ask you to go to breakout rooms, you don't respond or email about tech issues, you will lose a participation point. Or if you're in the video conference for less than 30 minutes. Do you need help? Well, we'll look at your grades. If you need help, there's a couple of options. School tutoring. If you go to Schoology Courses, SAV Tutor is there and that gives you a link to um, college students that can help you or my office hours. Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 1 to 2 p.m. by appointment. So you click on this link, fill out a Google form, it'll let me know, I'll email you back. If you need details on that, you can watch this video. I had a student, Kendra, wanted to do this on a Friday, so it wasn't even on Tuesday or Wednesday. She wanted to ask about an assignment she submitted. So we set up an appointment, she asked me a quick question, it was great, answered it, and it was like two or three minutes. Quiz number eight, we took this on Wednesday. Now you guys can go to your Edulastic and you can see your grade and your responses. And I've actually posted the quiz correction video. If you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see quiz number eight and every single problem has been recorded. So if you missed a problem, guess what? You're probably gonna keep missing that question all the way till May, even till the next school year. So um, you wanna know what you did wrong, um, go look at that correction video. Week number 22, essential question. How do you evaluate a higher degree polynomial? We kind of started this um, last week on Thursday and Friday. Now, um, that should be week at a glance number 22. And skills practice 2.12C. So let's take a look at this. This was released last week. Again, we're doing a bunch of letters here. Let me zoom out here and then you can see that. Okay, so we watch these introductory videos. Again, you don't need to copy it down, but there's some important information in there you might want to put on your formula sheet. Extra examples you don't have to do, but they're there. So if you're saying, I don't get this, um, watch more math. That is actually how I learn math. And, um, you know, maybe you don't understand the way I teach it, so that's why I also do Khan Academy. B, 
Uh, how to use the factor theorem. There was an introductory video. That was what you were supposed to do on Friday. And I'm trying to give you guys um, in these Google Docs more space to do your work. Um, that should say B. I will fix that. And now C, which we'll probably watch in class today, write the zero that corresponds to each factor. C and D will go by very, very fast. The difference between um, factors and zeros, you can just click on one of those. I don't have an intro video, so that's to D. These problems are really fast, C and D. And then um, polynomial long division, we'll probably watch on Tuesday and Wednesday, the intro it is. Um, a connection to uh, long division, which you learned earlier. And so we'll kind of connect the two. All right, so that is what you're gonna be doing for the rest of the week is finishing up all of those letters. It's only six problems a day. Um, again, the, the goal is to build your confidence as you do the problem, so watch a couple of with me in those. Let's look at the uh, running list of online assignments here. Remember in red, it has been graded. So if you want to um, get credit for it, just click on late work. And that slides will tell you. Remember, in late work, let me make sure I can get that in there. Late work and incomplete are pretty much the same to me. So again, let me explain that again. If you don't turn it on time, or you um, don't finish it all, I considered it late work. To me, they're synonymous. Why? Is because they're just not one hundred percent. Okay, so. Um, I graded this one over the weekend and it has been updated. A lot of students, I'm not quite sure why, maybe I'm not clear. So, um, the first number one mistake students are making was that they basically did all these letters, skills practice 2.11, but they're not completing last year's quiz. That's mistake number one. Mistake number two is not doing the corrections, okay? Again, the corrections is actually watching the video that's in here. There's a little blue link right there, and you're writing the word correct on the side. Or if you miss the problem, redoing the whole math problem and then explaining uh, what you did wrong with a complete sentence, okay? Those were the top two mistakes. Let me actually show you the third mistake in a second. Let me zoom back out here. Okay. And then week number 22, we're starting on skills practice 2.12. We started it last week, but it won't be due this week. So it'll by, probably be due next week. I haven't put a timeline out there yet. So again, try to finish those all this week or this coming weekend. Here is the third mistake. I told students don't do it. And what did they do? Some students actually did this. They sent in a bunch of pictures again. Don't do that. Why? Um, they're disorganized. I can't see what letter you're working on. Some students don't label it. Um, I didn't want to bash those students by putting them up here. Um, but usually if a student does this, I send them a response and show them awesome examples. And I actually have shown that on these slides here. Remember, I show you how to put everything into one PDF. Guys, this might be the new normal where you have to do distance learning, maybe your hybrid version all the way through college. So you want to learn these hard skills. And if you need some student examples, click on here. I have a folder full of um, examples in which students actually did what I said and it was helpful for them. Okay, that's week number 22 at a glance. Remember, rise to the occasion. See you that guys, bye. Super fun. Slope is rise over run. I be chillin' in the sun, yeah. Singing math is super fun. Math is super fun. Slope is rise over run. I be chillin' in the sun, yeah. Singing math is super fun.